Hi, I'm Sid and today's tech term is HDR. It's a feature that you now find on almost every smartphone out there. And today I'll tell you what it is. HDR is the short form of high dynamic range. It adds a higher dynamic range to your smartphone camera. Now, a dynamic range means the ratio of light and darkness in your camera uh, or an image. Uh, basically, to simplify stuff, whenever you click an image, there are some patches that are too dull and some patches that are too bright. What HDR does is, it clears them. Imagine a tree and a shade. So, the part of the shade is dark, but the tree is very bright because it receives sunlight. What HDR will do is it balances out the color and makes all parts more visible. Here are some images we have clicked from HDR and without HDR to give you a better understanding what it is. Here are some examples that will help you understand its effects better. Okay, so HDR fixes the lighting in your image. But how does it do that? Well, very simply, instead of one image, it clicks three different images. First one with underexposure, which is too dark. Second one with high exposure, too bright and third one with normal settings and then in real time it merges them all together and gives you the final product. Now the HDR mode is great for shooting pictures outdoors or shooting landscapes. However, it has some drawbacks too. Number one, if the image contains motion, HDR blurs it up. So if your image is moving, it contains a moving target, your photos will turn out to be hazy and blurry. Number two, when there are too many vibrant colors involved in an image, they all turn out to be dull in HDR. And number three, which depends on uh, different phones, HDR processing is slower on some phones, so it takes more time to click the same image. That's all you need to know about the HDR class dismissed. I'll see you next week with a new tech term. Till then, ciao.